One of the restaurants we're featuring in our four-part series of the beauty of hosting a small wedding at a restaurant is Bresca. Helmed by chef Ryan Rotino, Bresca is bright and whimsical and modern, but it also has classic techniques and traditions. And that bee's knees cocktail that they have, it can't be missed. Here at Bresca, I'd like for the diner to kind of feel um, the emotion or the sense of personality, uh, a little bit of intimacy. Uh, and then from there, just kind of, we kind of cater our experience to the individual. And then once the diner is here, the guests are here, um, kind of throwing the Bresca classics really helps. You know, the bee's knees and the bee's glass, the things that people have seen on digital media content and all of that, like get those things on the table and really like engage, like to have fun have fun and show our personality and then kind of gauge, gauge the response, yeah. We do have a Michelin star, but it's not just the Michelin star stuffiness, it's more about the fun and the enjoyment. And I think that's like uh, the fun, like the, the nice thing about when we opened this restaurant, we, we always wanted those accolades, but the idea of getting them in a way that kind of still felt personal to us, like I'm not a stiff human being. And as a staff, we have a great personality and we try and just like bring that into the, into the dining experience. Bresca itself would be great for a small wedding due to the fact that we have this kind of small intimate space, lots of nice like quirky fun decor that kind of people like talking points have fun with. Overall the space can be broken up into quite a few different varieties. We can do cocktail hours and then break into a sit down dinner. The venue can definitely be set up in, in various forms throughout the night. We start with a blank slate. Coordinating exactly what you want in the space from, from start to finish, from the time you walk through the door to what you're eating, drinking, and then talk to you as the guest and, and see like what you thoroughly enjoy. Then we start building out menus and cocktail menus, and then we go back and forth to really like key in. And if you don't like something, we change it immediately, but really just to key in on exactly what, you, what you're what you looking for. And we'll give our input too, but we don't start with those things. So you don't feel like uh, pressured or positioned into like, oh, I need to order caviar if I go here are those things. It's kind of like a blank slate. I always say like a good sea urchin is just as good as great broccoli. It just depends where you're getting it from. Like there's no, no one better than the other. 